disturbing cell phone video shows a dying man lying on a downtown Tarpon Springs road as police officers and others stand around. Tonight, we know which officer shot Nicholas Provenza, but there are still many unanswered questions. Eight on your side tried to get some of those answers, but the police chief won't address some of the more pressing issues. Peter Bernard is on the night beat for us in downtown Tarpon Springs near that shooting scene, and you tried to ask some questions. What did the chief tell you? We tried. Uh, he went right for an exit door after reading a short statement. Let me show you what's going on behind me. Friends of the victim have been gathering since early this evening. They've been renewing some of the candles out there and putting remembrances on the bank wall. The chief tells us he's mad about all the misinformation being spread on social media, but getting the truth is proving to be difficult. We urge everyone to cease the misinformation. Three days after Tarpon Springs officer Scott McIsaac shot and killed 25-year-old Nicholas Provenza, Chief Robert Cochin voiced his outrage about inaccurate social media posts. There is inaccurate information being disseminated that the subject was either unarmed or had sunglasses in his hand. Again, speculation, misinformation. This was not the case. But he would not tell us what the weapon was. Officer McIsaac's personnel record is loaded with accolades. Being a former police officer, I've been there and done that. This former Tarpon Springs cop believes McIsaac had no choice. I've had to unfortunately shoot people, and I know what the hell they're going through. Near the scene of the shooting, Provence's fiance returned to add to a memorial wall on the side of a bank. Rebecca Schnell tells me the officer didn't have to shoot. If he did have a knife, there were other ways to go about it. There were other ways to seize him. Numb since the shooting, Rebecca is in disbelief this has happened. I just really want to get to the bottom of this. Um, my intuition tells me that this is completely unjust and, you know, uh, precious, precious life was taken. From as the news conference wrapped up, Chief, why didn't anyone help any help him as he was out there? Can you tell us why the suspect was found laying on the why ground for several him? minutes? Chief Cochin bolted, saying more would come out after the FDLE and state attorney investigations. The chief tells us the officer is having a tough time dealing with killing someone. He just completed crisis intervention training. He's on paid administrative leave. Jen? Peter Bernard on the night before us tonight. Thank you. Tonight, there is major break.